What's up, everybody? It's that time again. We need to update our WordPress website to the latest version, which is 4.7.5. Now, by default, most websites should automatically get updated since this is a security and maintenance release. But just go to your website real quick. Make sure you are running the latest version of WordPress. It does deal with some issues that need to be resolved. So definitely take a look at that. Let's take a look at the article and announcement released by WordPress itself. So again, they do state this is a security and maintenance release. It's important that you make sure you're running the latest version of WordPress. And there are six security issues that were announced that have been resolved with this latest release. One of them is an insufficient redirect validation in the HTTP class. The other one is an improper handling of the post metadata values in the XML RPC and API. Another one is also with the XML RPC API. And then you have the cross site request forgery issue within the file system and two XSS vulnerabilities that were discovered as well. One dealing with the uploading of very large files and the other one dealing with the customizer. There were also three maintenance issues that were fixed with this current release as well. So let's take a look at what's changed. If we go over here to the codex.wordpress.org forward slash version underscore 4.7.5 a URL, you're going to see that this is just released and you're going to get some information about what was changed. You'll also see what files have been updated and revised as well. So in a previous video that I did some time ago, I showed you how to compare one version of WordPress to a previous version of WordPress using free and open source tools like Meld, which is a diff checker. So if you want, take a look at that video. I show you how to download the current version of WordPress alongside a previous version of WordPress and then using a diff checker to compare both versions and then identifying what code has been changed. This is great if you want to learn more about researching and analyzing code changes between versions and getting a better understanding of how these things are resolved over time. So take a look at that video. I'll leave a link in the card section in the upper right. So definitely check that out. Now we're going to go over towards the WordFence blog because they did give an announcement of this as well. So definitely check it out. It's the latest blog post they have. And they also announced the fact that six security issues have been resolved, but they also expressed some concern. There might be some other issues that have been fixed within this release as well, considering the fact that it was such an abrupt release and such a quick update to 4.7.5. So definitely check out their article over on the wordfence.com blog section. Now, if we go over to WP Tavern, they also gave an announcement on this as well. And they also talked about an interview that was done with Hacker One, which is an organization that is trying to find ways to secure the web, especially when it comes to websites powered by WordPress and other platforms. So we're going to take a look at one, this article over here is uh, pretty much just talking about the same information with the six security issues that were announced. And then it talks about the interview with HackerOne and the WordPress security team lead, Aaron Campbell. So let's go over to the HackerOne blog. And this is the actual article itself. And it's a really good interview. Definitely take a look at it. I'll leave a link in the description section below. It talks about the fact that since WordPress is such a popular platform, it is a big target. So there's always going to be issues with platforms, software applications, and anything used to create websites or anything that runs on your computer. Since you do know there's also been a recent issue with the WannaCry ransomware it has nothing to do with WordPress, but has to do with Microsoft Windows. So there's always going to be issues when it comes to, you know, operating systems, software applications and websites. And the larger the system is, the more targeted it will be. But the beauty of systems like WordPress and software like WordPress is that it is actively maintained and it is being analyzed by a lot of talented developers and security researchers. So there's this article over here that is an interview between Hacker One and the WordPress security team lead. Definitely check it out. It's a good read, um, but pretty much it talks about the bouncy program that's been launched in an effort to try to find more issues uh, within WordPress, you know, to ensure that the web is a safer place. All right. So this was just a video talking about the latest 
a release of WordPress 4.7.5. It is a security release, so just make sure your website is secure. I also have just a recommendation. If you're not using XML RPC and if you're not really taking advantage of the REST API, then it might make sense to disable those. And in some plugins like the iTheme security plugin, there's ways to disable uh, the XML RPC and the REST API and make them more secure by limiting access to them and limiting their functionality. Again, if you're not utilizing those features, then it makes sense uh, to deactivate those or to limit their abilities. All right, hopefully you found this video helpful. Hopefully your websites are up to date and just stay tuned to this channel because I'll give you updates on the latest security news when it comes to WordPress, when it comes to you know cybersecurity, internet security as a whole. And I'll also give you more videos on how to make sure your website and your online efforts are taking advantage of the modern day best practices. All right, again, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Take care.